Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. My first video in the longest amount of time. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your hair look amazing. So specifically, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do this hairstyle, the sleeked up like bun slash ponytail thingy. Yeah. And I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do your edges. I'm no professional by any means, you know, but I just wanna help you guys out. Okay, I hate when other YouTubers talk your ear off and stuff. Don't get straight to the tutorial, so we gonna get straight to this tutorial, okay? Okay, yeah. So the first product we're gonna use, not really a product, more like a thing that you really need that's essential to the process, water. Yes, you would need this. I can't, I cannot stress this enough, how much you need water. Because you see these flyaways I have in my hair right now? They're not gonna go down with just gel. There's gonna be flyaways with gel on them. You need water to help it slick down or else it's not gonna like stay on your head properly. This gel, really good for doing your edges, for slicking down the hair. Do you see the number right here? It says 10. If this says 10, it's gonna, it's gonna snatch your hair. So, I mean, yeah, sure, there's this gel right here, you know, for curls and waves. This is good for defining your hair. But you see the number's eight. It's not gonna hold down as well as 10, which is why I would definitely use this over this when we are styling the hair or doing the edges. So the next thing we have to do is use a brush. Now I got three different brushes here. This is the hard brush, so I'm gonna be using this in this tutorial today. You see how hard it is? If you go too hard, you'll feel like you're tugging on your hair, but this will probably do the best job in slicking down the hair. So I'm gonna use this in this tutorial today. Gotta take out the rings for this one so I don't tangle my hair. Shout out to Pandora. So the first step is taking out your hair from whatever style it's already in. So now that you're using a palm tree or a pineapple or whatever this is, you're gonna take your hair and put some water on it. Hello. And we're just gonna spray all around the perimeter. You know, if you're geometry or fourth grade math, you know what a perimeter is. Perimeter around your hair, just spray it, do whatever, get it nice and wait. Do the back. Everyone likes to forget about the back. Spray the back of your hair, child, because if you don't spray the back of your hair, you're gonna be a mess. Now it's tricky. Now that our hair is nice and wet and all sprayed up and whatever, we're gonna put some gel on. <laughs> We're just gonna go crazy with the gel. Can you see this? Basically, we're just gonna do the same thing we do with the water. We're gonna get some gel. This is a lot, okay? <laughs> this is a whole bunch of gel. We're just gonna put it around the um, perimeter, the area of our hair. <laughs> we're just gonna put it around the perimeter of our hair. See, look, I just put a lot on, but you know, the more you put on, the more slick it's gonna be. By the way, do you know where this little character is from? Like and comment, okay? Only real OGs know, okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna put some gel on the front. I just, I didn't even do any of this off camera. Well, I really thought I was going to, but I just ended up talking off all your ears. I'm so sorry, I apologize for the sound of my voice. Now that we got some gel on our hair, which we might have to reapply if we don't have enough, because that happens sometimes. Yeah, my hair looks wild right now. We're gonna use the brush. I'm using the hard bristle today because I'm tough like that. So basically, I'm just going to comb it, you know, why do people do that with their waves? They brush like this, like, hey, yo, shawty, look at my waves. Seriously, so we just gonna have to brush our hair back. My waves. Yeah, no, I'm not over that. That's hilarious. We're just gonna be brushing upward in an upward motion to, you know, to get the gel down and kind of spread it around a bit. And do it around the perimeter, the area, the surface area, the volume of your hair. <laughs> we're just gonna do that. Um, we're just gonna brush it upwards because that's kind of like the style you want to put in when you put it up in your bun, ponytail, etc. We're just gonna, the part y'all all been waiting for, slick it up like this. You see how there's no flyaways? Because we, we brushed, okay, we brushed. That's what we did, we did that. So we're just gonna swoop our hands like this, you know, a lot of upward motion, a lot of pulling, tugging, losing my edges, Jojo Siwa. We're going to pull the dude around. Okay, you don't gotta be as dramatic as me. But, oh look, I have a flyaway right here. Yeah, I'm just that much of a perfectionist. See, see, it happens to the best of us. We gonna put some gel down on that area now. And it might not slick down. And if you got a little flyaway, cause that flyaway is kind of infinitesimal. It doesn't really matter. It's fine, you don't have to be perfect. If you got a little bit of flyaways, ain't nobody gonna talk about you. Like, you still look cute. <laughs> He's gonna 
hold a drone around like a lasso. I don't know how to even work a lasso, so pretend I just didn't even say that. I like to do three loops, you know, depending on the hair tie. And voila, look at this. Now to the reason why most of y'all clicked on this video. We gonna get down to the edges. It kind of looks like I don't have edges, but I definitely do. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know I have edges. Two edges brushes. I got this from the beauty supply store as two sides. All right, so let's just get down to these edges. Firstly, we're just gonna take a little bit of gel because a little actually goes a long way. Then we're just gonna go in and then start brushing our baby hairs in a downward swooping motion, as you can see. I'm gonna be using the mirror in front of me because this camera is kind of a bad mirror, so. As I explained before, we're going to be brushing it in sort of a downward swooping motion and then bringing it back up toward the end into our hair. And then we're just gonna pat down the ends if they start to stick up a little because that happens from time to time. He used it in slow motion, just in case if I did it a little too quickly before, just so y'all can actually see what I'm doing. So that's how it's looking so far. Not too shabby, not too bad. Brush those edges. Brush those edges. <laughs> okay, it's not looking so bad. Not too shabby, okay. Sorry, I like to go over them a lot because I'm a perfectionist and sometimes it will look 100% fine and I hate it for some reason. Oh, Kurt, next side. So yeah, just do the other side, same as you did it. It might be a little bit hard to do it on the other side if you're like left-handed or right-handed, but I believe in you, I have all the faith. So just brush it down, go over it as you need to, whatever you wanna do, just get those edges laid in slate so you can look like a glazed donut. Like, I believe in you, girl. Yes, so just continue to brush and then just pat it down as needed. And these are how the edges are looking. Not professional, but good enough to look like a baddie. Now we out here looking like glazed donuts, looking fresh, looking fly, looking clean. I don't like to do my edges too crazy, but this is kind of how they're looking right now, and it's like okay. I don't like to do like the cool like designs, like the swirls. It's like that's nice, but I'm more of like a reserved kind of hair person. I don't know. So I like to keep my edges simple, looking nice, looking clean, just enough to get by. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys, if your hair is not slicked down, if you don't have your edges did, if you don't have like your hair looking like a glazed donut, that is perfectly okay. That is fine. You don't have to show up to school every day with your edges done, your hair slicked because I get it, I know. Sometimes you don't feel like doing your hair. Sometimes you just wanna wear a headband and call it a day or sometimes you just don't wanna wear anything on your hair, call it a day and I think that's fine. You can just do whatever you want. Don't care about what other people are saying about your hair. Wear that hair how you want, sis. It's on your head, it doesn't matter. Just do you. Also, if any of you were wondering where I got my lip gloss from, I got it from Pretty Girl Things. I'll put the link in the description. I'm saying this because they actually made a shade for me. It's called Tori. It has little sparkles in it. This is how my lips is looking. Mm, go la see. Okay, so y'all should hop on this way and get you some Pretty Girl Things lip gloss. Okay, I advertise for them a lot without like, you know, sponsors or whatever because I just love this so much and I want everyone around me to feel like a pretty girl. And you know, you can be a pretty girl without lip gloss, but I mean like, mm, girl, this. This just makes you feel like a bad day when you put it on. So make sure your lips is out here looking glossy, okay? Cause you know, I'm trying to help y'all sisters out or brothers if you wear lip gloss too. <laughs> so I hope y'all liked my weird back alley, terrible edge <laughs> tutorial. I really tried. It's like my first ever like hair tutorial I've ever done in my life. Even on my Instagram, I never really did like a hair tutorial or anything. I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe, or don't if you want to. Like, <laughs> just do whatever you want. Live your best life. Hey, I hope you guys like the video.